This is for the ferry to get across the Mississippi. These people will be waiting here probably for three straight days. Hurricane Katrina is beginning to wrap in some dry air, so we're a little bit concerned. The eye is getting a little deformed, but uh, it's racing north towards our location right now. Uh, we're going to head towards Slidell, which is southeast of here, uh, and hopefully get inside the eye. And um, maybe we'll see some sun, definitely. Should be a good experience. 979 millibars, 541 AM. And they're predicting rain. Uh-oh, look at the water here. I guess this is like the place you don't want to be during the, during the Cat 5 hurricane, right? Yeah. We have a dump truck after us. We're dominating him though now. All right, wait. <laughs> what is he doing? He's coming. Calm down. We're at uh, Slidell uh, Police Department after emerging from jail. <laughs> what? Car going to get buried. Look at that storm surge. Hey, if that's your car, yeah. I'll move it over there. The worst uh, hurricane ever come through, and we got the eye coming right across. It's not one of our police radios. Hey, Mike, you from boats. There's our assignment's vehicle. I just moved into your car. What do you think about your car? I like my car. Sorry. How do you feel about the possibility that you're uh, screwed as far as getting your master's degree? I'm concerned because I uh, can't email anybody. And all the cell phones are down, so I can't get in contact with my parents or anything. Mommy's probably really worried about me. How do you feel about swimming to I-12? Well, there's uh, piles of fire ants out there that if you touch, they'll cover your body. There's alligators, snakes. That's not a good idea. This is the worst disaster I've ever seen in my life. But, uh, I mean, you got to do it right here. This is ground zero right here. Here we are. We're starting our walk out of Slidell. Shouldn't have been there in the first place. We're gonna walk to Baton Rouge. We're walking. 45 miles. 45 miles to Baton Rouge. Hopefully somebody will pick us up.